Uh, ladies and gentlemen, season two for Modern Warfare 3 is officially here. Well, kind of. So for some reason, Call of Duty decided to release literally everything about this season. And the new season doesn't even start until next week. We have the entire season two battle pass, all the new skins, camos, and weapons coming. And honestly, man, it's looking like an amazing season. If you guys are excited, go down below, drop a like on the video, and let's jump into this. Alrighty guys, so on your screen is the season two roadmap starting February 7th. So starting out with the Warzone content, the return of Fortune's Keep. We haven't seen this map, I believe, since Vanguard. New contracts, a weekly zombie target, squad wipe streak. I believe we also have some new areas as well in the Fortune's Keep map. Also, if you see right here, features, wonder weapons, zombies power-ups, signal public event and portable decontamination station we're gonna be wonder weapons now in warzone that's kind of crazy and also man we are gonna be getting resurgence ranked play for warzone next up we're gonna be moving on to modern warfare 3 multiplayer and we got a lot of maps actually coming which i'm pretty hyped about we get a new 6v6 map called stash house and i believe this is gonna be a pretty small map i'm very excited i usually love the smaller maps like shoot house or like shipment or rust or meat. We also have another 6v6 map, uh, Vista, which I believe Stash House and Vista are gonna be at launch. And then on top of Stash House and Vista, we're getting Departures, another 6v6 map. But if you see right here, later on in the season, we're getting Das House Remastered. Das House from Vanguard is returning later on in season, and it's gonna be a little bit more of a remaster type vibe. It's not gonna be the same map, but obviously it will have the same layout. We're also getting a brand new war map in season. We're getting Skid grow and airborne these are variant maps i think to go along with the walking dead event it's gonna be more of like a post apocalypse vibe for skidro and i believe terminal so that's gonna be cool so we got new modes coming team gun game we also have bounty in season horde point is returning as an ltm snipers only and jugger mosh ltm which is i don't know what that's about so getting some new zombies content uh we got new story missions new dark ether rift new schematics and a new warlord jumping over to the weapons and operators new weapons the bp 50 now this is not really a new weapon it's actually the fn 2000 from modern warfare 2 the og version but this is the bp 50 and the same exact gun we saw in vanguard i feel like this season we're seeing a lot of vanguard vibes right we have fortune's keep we have the bp 50 we have das house but i believe this will be a brand new assault rifle found in the battle pass we also have the ram 9 going into the battle pass so I, this might be a new smg it, it's kind of like the ram 7 but maybe an SMG version. We also have later on in season, the SOA Subverter, which maybe looks like a new battle rifle, a new AR. And then later on in season as well, we're getting the Soul Render, which is gonna be a brand new melee weapon. Of course, man, we're gonna be getting some new aftermarket parts, which I'm very excited to see. That looks like a chainsaw attached to the gun. Also getting new operators at Laswell. We're also getting a brand new vest, the Ninja Vest, which is very, very awesome. Like a new addition to the vest in your creative class is definitely going to change up the meta, change up the game a little bit. And we're also getting John Doe as a Black Cell upgrade. Of course, we got new events, Horde Hunt. We got the Year of the Dragon, the Cryptid Boot Camp, the Walking Dead, Fear the Living, and the Vortex Decays Realm later on in season. And new operators, of course, Rick Grimes is going to be in the Battle Pass, and then Michonne will be available later on in season. And then I believe we're also getting the Dune Part 2 uh, event as well. I think there's going to be a new Tracer Pack and a new event later on. Overall, this season is jam-packed with weapons, with maps, with events, with things to look forward to. I'm excited for the Walking Dead event, all these new events, Year of the Dragon, literally another Vortex game mode. Yeah, Sledgehammer is really cooking up. Of course, alongside the release of the roadmap, we got a huge blog just detailing everything. So at launch, we are going to be getting the Departures map. It is a core 6v6 map, medium to large. So it definitely looks more on the larger end. We are going to be receiving this map on launch day one. We also have Stash House, like I said, this is going to be a new core 2v2 and 6v6 map. And as you can see, this map is very small. It looks like there's a little bit more on the outside, but then also it just all the action takes place in that middle household. So 
This might be a crazy map to grind camos, grind challenges. This might be a substitute to shipment. Also getting Vista on launch too. This looks like a medium sized map. It looks like great colors, good vibes. I feel like Sledgehammer has been doing an awesome job with the new maps that they're actually adding. It's not remastered or remakes of older maps. These are brand new maps and I, I think they're really listening. And of course, DOS House mid-season. It is a remastered one. It almost looks like it's on like the, the top of a building that was being constructed, but it's not actually finished. Also for the variant maps, they're gonna be in the mid-season. We got Airborne, which is confirmed to be Terminal. This one's looking really cool. And also the second map variant is for Skidrow coming in mid-season. I love the vibes of this one as well. Also gonna be getting some new rewards for a ranked season two for multiplayer. And of course you can earn more camos as you win more matches throughout the season. We also have a little bit more information on the new perk, the Ninja Vest, which will be available on launch. You're gonna have silent melee and throwing weapon specialists. It also eliminates the footstep sounds, immune to movement reduction effects, bonus shuriken and throwing knife ammo, and you can resupply the shuriken and throwing knives every 25 seconds. Also, it is confirmed the BP-50 is once again an assault rifle. Like I said, this is a weapon from Vanguard. So yeah, it, we've kind of already used it. You also have the Ram 9, which like I said in the beginning, it's going to be the submachine gun version of the Ram 7. It's a counterpart. It's a bullpup SMG. It's very lethal at close range, it says. The SOA subverter is a battle rifle coming later on in the season. So I kind of guessed that. And the new soul render melee weapon looks absolutely insane. I'm kind of excited. We're also going to be getting seven new aftermarket parts throughout the launch and in the mid season of season two. And that is literally an under barrel chainsaw. I need to use this right now. So we're gonna be getting the Jack Burnout. It's for the Holger 26 LMG. It gives the holder a select fire mode called Jack Burnout that provides a dramatically increased fire rate. Ooh, that could be really cool. We have the Jack Tyrant 762 for the Longbow. This caliber conversion kit swaps out the receiver and magazine to accommodate 762 BLK ammunition for a harder hitting subsonic weapon. We also have another conversion kit for the Holger 556 called the the Jack Backsaw Kit. It's a conversion kit focused on making the Holger more maneuverable. Oh, so maybe like an SMG. It's going to be faster and more agile. We have the Jack Mag Lift Kit for the Haymaker Shotgun. It says this weapon modification reinforces the magwell bolt and trigger assembly to accommodate the extra large drum magazine. Oh, this might be crazy. You could probably just spray. We have the Jack Outlaw Kit for the Bass B. It converts and transforms the Bass B into a lever action rifle. What the hell? And we have the Jack Glassless Optic. It's going to be a brand new optic sight. This small glassless reflex optics offers a crisp and clear sight. I am almost positive they mentioned this in the season one patch notes and it never came out. So I'm assuming they just pushed it to season two. And on your screen right now is the season two battle pass. And for some reason, reason they literally just revealed the whole battle pass so we can actually check this out ahead of time so it seems like the new uh fn 2000 or the bp50 will be in sector b7 we also are going to have the new smg in b6 we get some cod points of course we see some weapon variants we have the black cell upgrade it seems like rick rhymes and laswell will be an instant reward so the tier 100 skin looks pretty badass i think that's for ghost and he has like this aura just surrounding him we also have some footage of how rick is going to look in the battle pass, but he also has a black cell version. Are you kidding me? Rick Grimes, a black cell. That doesn't even look like Rick anymore. And of course, man, we're going to have a whole set of new weekly challenges for season two. There's going to be eight weeks once again. And once you complete all eight weekly challenges, we're going to be getting a new animated camo. Yes, it's already confirmed. It's animated. It's called Rotten Inferno. And this camo looks beautiful. I'm so glad they listened because in season one, Coherence camo was really ugly and not animated at all. So yeah, I'm really happy that we can work for eight weeks straight at this camo and it is animated and it looks really sick. And lastly, man, of course, we're going to be getting a whole new set of prestiges. So we're going to be able to go from level 250 prestige five all the way up to level 450 prestige nine.
That's insane that I almost just died by that dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That dude had a sniper. God, I just went crazy. Yeah, I'm just gonna call this in. F it. Damn, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Anyways, guys, that is season two for Modern Warfare 3. Let me know in the comments, how are we feeling? This season is stacked. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It's looking very, very good. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.